Well, it's uh, you know just taking care of taking care of their areas, and it's something we talk about. You know, wherever we work, whether it's a locker room, we live or work, mm -hmm. uh, take care of it with pride. And we're in a beautiful new facility right now. But uh, you know, the years prior to that, when we were in the other building, uh, it's like anything. You know, where you live, you take care of it. You want to make sure uh, you know things are neat and tidy. Okay. I was tell our guys, you know, they, none of us grew up with butlers, at least uh, none of the guys <laughs> I know. So you know, it's not anybody else's job to come up behind you and pick stuff up that you leave on the ground, tape or whatever it may be, cups. And mm -hmm. so we, you know, we just try to emphasize that. And uh, but every now and then they need need some reminding on those kinds of things. Okay. Yeah, I wrote a lot about culture last year and. The 2015 culture seemed like it was off the charts. I mean, is that, do you see that with the 2016 team? So, so far, so good. I mentioned the academics, uh, you know, it was our, our best all-time team GPA, which is good. Highest amount of guys, we were over 50% on guys that had 3-0 semesters. Uh, lowest amount of guys under a 2-0. So a lot of little things that we try to track, you know, uh, some healthy signs. And, and it's still, you got to go out and block and tackle. That's how you win football games. But I think it's just, it's a matter of, uh, you know, our guys thinking, thinking the right way. Are they taking care of little details and doing the things uh, that they sometimes don't want to do? Uh, they're going to lead to success or uh, going the other direction, they lead to failure.